What's going on guys? It is Ethan Dre coming to you guys live from this video. I don't got work today, so I have a lot of time to make videos. I wanted to make a couple that come from my heart and that I speak on topics that are going to really be edifying and that are going to really touch the lives of a lot of people. And I think that everybody can relate to this. This topic is going to be a special one. <clears throat> I hope everything is good for you guys on the other side of the world. It's Ethan J. So, it is hard, right? It is hard. It is hard, right? Before I even start this, I just want to make a quick prayer. Lord God, I just pray that this message be a blessing to whoever re watches it or listens to it and that I speak what you want me to speak through my perspective and just, just do the right thing and speak the right thing. In your name I pray, amen. It is hard. This whole life thing, it's super difficult. You wake up, you have to go to a job, you have to go find a way to make an income. You have to pay for a car. You have to pay your rent. You have to pay for an opportunity. You have to go learn and study. You have to go f navigate the world. And then also on top of that, now you're, you know, you're growing up. You're starting to feel these emotions, these hormones in you. And you're starting to get attracted to the opposite sex. You're starting to get attracted to the idea of sex. And you're in this world where... You're tense because you're making, you have to make money and then you're in love with love and you want to find your partner and you're trying to find God and like so many things are happening. Let me share something with you. It is so easy, so easy to get confused and just dismayed and enamored by the many different possibilities that life can throw at you. And now with social media and this online world, you can find beautiful people at the, the touch of your scroll, right? Just with the scroll, you can go and find this person, that person dating app, this person six kilometers, that person 12 kilometers away. Oh, she has that, but oh, this girl has this. And oh, he has a car, but that guy has a house. And next thing you know, you're lost. Let me tell you why it's so important to stay true to your convictions. It's in a world where people are literally losing their morality day in and day out. People are losing their sense of high virtue. It is so important to be virtuous. So important to seek the right way for doing things. Because you, it's so easy to get lost in the sauce of life paying for experiences, going to massage parlors, doing all these things. I've never done these things in my entire life. My Lord is my witness, but I have friends that have. And I've had to cut these conversations out. And I have to, I've had to leave those rooms because of how pathetic I think it is that you have to pay somebody for an experience. People, brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm here to tell you something. Your sexuality is how the devil plays with you, right? And I'm, this is a tough conversation. I can't have this conversation in church, but I'm going to have it with you now. Your sexuality is how the devil holds you. That pornography addiction, that masturbation addiction, that's, that touching you're doing behind closed doors, all that stuff right there, that, that idea, okay, I'm going to make some money and then I'm going to pay a couple women to take care of me or men. Oh, no, I, I, OnlyFans, I'm subs you're subscribed to an OnlyFans? Like, we got to talk about this. Listen, when I was younger, even up to recently, I had a huge problem with lust. And I just sat down and I looked at the Lord and I said, Lord... I have been fighting this addiction ever since I went to the public school system and somebody showed me what pornography was. Ever since I started playing my first online game and then I got a, an ad, a spicy ad that I clicked on and next thing you know, I'm in this world that I didn't even know existed. And then the devil came to me through technology, through technology and through people that were of the world, right? People that were in my school system and I fell for it. I learned the ways of the world and I became just like them. But the thing that's beautiful about the gospel and about life changing things is you don't have to be stuck like that forever. You don't have to be stuck and limited doing these things forever. That's not the end game, right? You can choose to say, look, I've made terrible mistakes, but today is the day that I start making a change and I'm going to make a change. <clears throat> Many of you are singles, right? Single people, right? And you're kind of nervous and you're worried. Look, I have a lot of insecurities about myself, right? A lot. Like, I don't know if I'll ever be able to find love. I recently had to end a one year and six month relationship because I'm not, I'm not with a partner who is a believer, right? She was from a different faith, pretty much the opposite faith. And there is conversations of marriage and what's going to happen. And I, we, 
there was no future possible because she was strong in what she believed in and I'm strong in what I believe in. And we loved each other, but we were also really physically attracted to each other. So we were we were spending a lot of physical time together and I could tell that the damage that this was causing us because we're getting more and more intertwined and connected and soon it would become very hard to break. And now as I finally decided to leave that situation and humbly say this is not the right thing and now I'm single again, the, the thoughts in my head are, oh my God, how am I going to find a partner and and am, am I going to, is, is marriage even for me, right? But the thing you need to remember and what, what I'm, I'm feeling in my spirit is that God has a plan for all of this. He has a plan for every single thing. He created the universe. He created the stars. He created every single race. He created everything. So instead of just rushing off, going to the dating apps, going to escorts, paying for, paying for experiences, getting handies and, and, and bees and all this kind of stuff, and then and, and talking to women at work and trying to seduce women on these apps and vice versa for women, why don't you just start radically trusting in God? radically and I know it's hard when you're by yourself at 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 12 o'clock 1 o'clock in the morning and you're being hit with these thoughts oh just do this just go on the website go this go here go there but you know what instead of allowing yourself to fall into all that garbage why don't you step up and say nah you know what nah I gotta this can't happen I can't support the pornography industry. I'm not going to support these actresses that don't even know who I am. I'm not going to support these OnlyFans models that don't even know I exist. I'm not going to uh, support these girls that are on these dating apps and being another validation for them. You know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to sit here. I'm going to be humble. I'm going to get to the gym. I'm going to work on my body. And whenever I have these, these motions of hormones, I'm going to sit down and do 300 push-ups. And I'm going to focus my energy somewhere else. And I'm going to focus my educate, focus on my education. I'm going to focus on my faith. And I'm going to make a prayer every single time that I get H word, right? H O R N Y. I want a partner, a married partner, a partner that's that I'm going to marry, a single, pure, virgin woman, that I want to be able to sleep with ten thousand times with one woman and marry her and have kids with her, spend time with her, take care of her, buy her a home, buy her a life, be an honorable husband, and die with her and be an honorable man and if i can't have that lord then give me the strength to face my life as a single because i don't want anything else i don't want anything else i don't want to i don't want to play games either i step up as a man and i can do this and provide for a woman or i give me the strength to be single and give me opportunities to keep myself busy Give me jobs, give me skills, give me talents so that I can be busy and I can go flourish to church or flourish in ministry. That's that's the boldness I want you guys to have. A lot of you out there are single and you're you're losing hope. But remember this, you have to live your life with honor. Even if your life is a mess, live it with honor. Try to do it as much as possible. That's the, that's the saying and the quote that I'm going to stick on for the rest of my time on YouTube before my time goes. Live your life with honor even if you were born in poverty, even if you were born in degeneracy, even if you were, have a terrible past. Choose to step up and say, no, I'm going to live an honorable life now. Step up and say, I will not I will be I'll abstain until marriage and until the right person commits to me. And I can firmly say that this person is willing to yell to the world that she's mine and mine alone. Otherwise, I don't want it. Pray that prayer to the Lord and stand firm on your conviction convictions. And no matter how hard things get, trust that God has your best intentions at heart. Until then, the conversation needs to be about mastering your hormones. Become a fitness advocate. Go for walks, go for runs, talk to your family, get out there, learn how to swim, learn how to dance. Do things that cause you to move your body and focus on anything and anything but the one thing that the devil wants to manipulate, which is your sexuality. Stay pure, stay honorable, stay righteous. And remember, no matter how many people that you sleep with, does not matter. It's about, can you go home one day and have someone in your corner that says, I love you and I want to spend the rest of my life with you? That's the realest thing that you could ever have, a ride or die. If you don't have that, if you guys don't share the same faith, if you guys don't have love for each other, if you guys are not pure together, then what's the whole point of even pursuing love in the first place? Are you just doing it because you guys find each other attractive? 
What happens when that that emotion leaves? This is for every single person out there. I love you enough to tell you the truth. And I'm telling you one more thing, that I have made so many mistakes with this, guys. Like, I've made so many mistakes with this. With pornography, with trying to chase girls when I was younger. But guys, I'm 28 this year. I'm so bold now with the way that I think. And I'm I'm forcing myself to suffer a lot. I'm, I'm so strict with how I am with myself. Because I can't let anything at all, at all, slide the devil has no access in my life the devil has none the enemy will not come into my life at all i bind him by the blood of jesus and i think about jesus who was a single man who changed the world and he didn't he did it he did it while still being pure so we have examples on men that did things amazingly while being pure so what's our excuse we have to become better and we have to have this conversation. I know many of you want marriage, but many of you are seeking it and de depending on it and demanding it from God. That's not how it works. You need to be the right person. Are you the right person that's ready for marriage? Do you have a home ready? Do you have a house ready? Do you have the cars ready? Do you have your college tuition ready for your kids? Do you have your funds ready? Are you the person that's ready to take care of a family? Are you willing to ask these questions? Me personally, I, can, I have to say no to everything because I'm not ready. I'm not ready yet. So that's why God isn't providing it for me. So when the devil throws all these temporary situations at me, and I'm not saying my past situations with the devil, but I'm just saying when all these options come at me, I know that this is just a setback. It's not the truth. So talk to yourself and be realistic about yourself and your situation. You're not ready for it. So stop asking God for the end product and instead ask God for the courage to become the person ready for that situation. Because how many families do we have where they're single parents and you're living in poverty? You're living because your parents didn't do the things that we're talking about on this video. You have to be the right person for that. You have to be ready for the outcomes of marriage. You can't keep hooking up with somebody and thinking that a child is not going to come out of it. A child will. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for the future generations? And I pray that whoever is watching this video by the will of the Lord, that they start to become ready for marriage, Lord. And I pray that for you. And I pray that for me. But until then, in this season of singleness, be happy because you're becoming the person that you need to be, the father and the mother that you need to be for the future children that will depend on you for everything. Not just the partner who's going to have amazing sex scenes with your partner. Excuse me for being vulgar. I want that with my partner too. Thousands of scenes. Thousands of positions. But I know that eventually I'm going to have to take care of her and her children. And I'm going to have to be ready to do that. I can't just have the cherry on top. I need to have the whole Sunday, And that means I need to be a better man. That is my message regarding this topic. You know, I know this is not biblical. I know I didn't cite anything, but I could talk to you about being unequally yoked. I can talk, that's in 1 Corinthians. I could talk to you about uh, sexual purity. And I could talk to you about uh, Genesis chapter 1, one man, one woman. I could talk to you about so many other things that are biblical. But this is just a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You're, you're praying for something? Make sure you're praying for the right thing, you know? And make sure that you understand why it's so important to be loyal. Because there's a big component to that. A big component, right? You can't just ask God for the end goal without realizing all of the stuff in between it. There is a lot of stuff that needs to be done in between. So work on those things and let the Lord do his rest because the God, our God is good and his glory is amazing. Let it shine on you when the time is right. Peace.